Hey y'all, it's Nurse Howie and I just wanted to check in. Uh, today I'm going to spend a little bit of time uh, going around Comic Con in San Diego with my boyfriend Jorge. And we decided that it should be, you know, actually it's pretty hot but we're going to be leaving soon. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to give you a little update. I did well on my pharmacology exam. Um, I think I did one of the best scores. Uh, it was difficult because my weakest point was the side effects. Um, I just saw my video where I put in the review and I like doing those reviews on video for you guys because it helps me remember that I actually do know uh, a lot more than I do. Um, in fact, I do want to make more videos uh, with horror, I'm sorry, with um, transporters and neurotransmitters and other mechanism of actions uh, that get people to uh, behave the way that they do or feel the mood that they do. Um, you know, psychiatry in a way is, is simpler because it's more specific and it's a specialized part of medicine. However, there are intricacies that people are expected for us to catch that uh, primary care physicians or family nurse practitioners or PAs um, aren't usually aware of because they're generalized and they're expected to know more uh, than just one specific area of the medical field. So. Yeah, I think this part is where I'm going to go walk around uh, San Diego and just downtown uh, is a good way to kind of um, kind of unfold and relax and get ready for my two travel contracts because I have one travel contract right after the other and I won't be having any um, vacation time in between. So I'll basically be working till April and then hopefully around July of next year I'll have graduated and start taking my nurse practitioner exam. God, I can't believe it's going to be only one year. Um, but I'm excited. Um, I'm also worried because I'm not, I mean, I'm used to going from one place to another, but you never know, you know, what the unit culture is going to be like. You know, um, nurses, I think, so far in my experience, have kind of a medieval um, medieval way of treating new nurses like they either really like you or they don't so the first impressions count I've been reading a lot of um, travel nursing pod and listening to a lot of travel nursing podcasts and they say that you really need to show your confidence this is coming from nurse manager and sh not only that but you also have to show competency and if the your coworkers feel like you're competent and confident and you can prove that, then they'll be fine. Then you'll be fine. But if you don't, then they'll start kind of circling around you like sharks, I think. And I've been through both sides, and I think that's where the nurse people feel like nurse bullying comes in. You know, um, I don't think there's really as much nurse bullying where people are just nurses are just mean. Um, I think they're just. Um, I mean, I think there's just an ugly side to nursing, and that's the ugly side of it. And I'm getting kind of tired of it, which is why I've always wanted to become a nurse practitioner. But it, that's not the whole reason. That's not a reason. You know, I think registered nurses are amazing people, and I love being a registered nurse. It's just that um, it's not the field that I wanted to be at. I mean, it's a lot of work, and it's really good work, and it saves a lot of people, and it's very fulfilling. But I want to try a different avenue where I get to prescribe medications, which I'm already am. Um, under supervision and really determine exactly what the diagnosis of the patient is and then help with a treatment plan and maybe save my back in the process. All right, guys, so I'm going to head out. Uh, I think Jorge is going to come over soon and then we're going to Uber it down. I hope you're enjoying your time working on work-life balance and wherever you are, um, I hope you're having a good day and things are going well for you. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.